In this video, the steps on how to use SOLIDWORKS Composer to create a set of assembly instructions will be shown. With SOLIDWORKS Composer open, open the desired model that assembly instructions are needed for. In this case, part of an engine assembly from an SAE car will be used. With assembly instructions, it is always necessary to create a view of the final assembly. You can use the mouse to rotate the model or you can use the drop down under a line camera to pick default views. With the desired orientation, save the view by clicking the Create View icon under the View pane. This view can be renamed by clicking the view and then pressing F2. In order to create assembly instructions, each step in the assembly needs to be shown. To hide parts of the assembly, switch to the Assembly Views pane on the left of the screen. From here you can check or uncheck the boxes next to the parts in order to show or hide them. Only show the parts that need to be assembled in the first step. For this model, the first assembly step would be assembling the four parts of the header that would then attach to the first cylinder. With the parts shown, dimensions and angles can be added to aid in the assembly of the model. To create dimensions, go under the Author tab at the top of the window. From here, you can select lengths or angles to add into the assembly. To insert an angle, select the distance angle between two planes from the drop-down under the measurement section. Now select the two locations of the planes within the model and finally select the location for the text. This can be repeated for other parts within the step. At any time, the view can be saved the same way as the initial view. The parts can be exploded or moved by going under the Transform tab at the top of the window. By selecting all the part and then choosing one of the types of exploded transformations, the directional handles can be pulled to evenly space all parts. To help convey the assembly step, images can be added to emphasize certain things. To insert an image, go under Workshop and then Image Library. Here are a number of standard images or you can create your own to add. The images can then be dragged onto the current view. For this case, to help point out the weld locations, arrows can be added in by going under the Author tab and selecting Arrows. A text box can be inserted here to specify the order that the weld should be done as well as the type of weld. The text box can be inserted by selecting Text2D under the Author tab. A bill of materials can be generated by going under Workshops and then BOM. With this workshop open, click Generate BOM IDs. You may need to click the button to show the BOM at the bottom of the screen. By then going under the Author tab, callouts can be placed on each part. You can align all of these callouts by clicking Magnet in the Author tab and selecting Create Magnet Line. Create a line on the window and press Escape to deselect the tool. Now grab the line and drag it upwards towards the callouts. This will gather all the callouts and place them equally spaced on the line where they can be adjusted if not in the right order. Make sure you update your views by selecting the Update View icon under the Views pane. The color of the parts can be changed by selecting a part and then picking a color under the Properties pane. This is useful to help distinguish the different parts that need to be assembled. Views for each step can be created using the same basic outline. This will give you a number of different views depicting all the steps needed to assemble the model. These can be saved as technical illustrations by going under the Home tab and selecting Technical Illustration. These views can be saved as scalable vector graphics as well as other formats that can be used for creating assembly manuals. Another option is to publish the images as a PDF or HTML. These options are available under File, then Publish. With the SOLIDWORKS Player plugin, the PDF format allows you to rotate and manipulate the views. It is very useful when actually assembling the product because now the assembler has a three-dimensional view of the parts that they are assembling. In using SOLIDWORKS Composer to create assembly instructions, the model does not have to be physically made in order to create this set of instructions. This also means that any view of the model can be created without having to manipulate the actual parts. If changes are made to the model at any time, compo the Composer document will update as well, which saves the time of having to go through and retake all the pictures needed for the assembly instructions.
I hope this is helpful when you create your own assembly instructions.